Hey guys, greetings. I just gave the um, the Corvette um, waterless wash, and now I'm telling you, I love that stuff. It makes things so much easier, faster. The car is always garage, so there's no no real concern there. And as you can probably tell, the paint is in pretty good shape. But I gotta tell you, I love this stuff. It smells so good. So if you want to give it a shot, you, you can find you can find that pretty much anywhere. So I'm getting my uh, little Lag and Decker polisher. It's a cheapo thing. It was, I think, under $30 from Amazon. Also bought some um, some of these, whatchamacallit? These little pads. Eventually, I would like to, um, to add some Velcro to the, um, to the base pad so I can use the, um, the actual Velcro pads, which are, I hear, a lot better. Also, this time I'm going to use the um, Adams uh, paint finishing polish, which I've used before, and uh, I really like it as well. So, anyways, let me get set up here, and uh, we'll get started. All right. I like to uh, get the the pad, this little buffing pad kind of moist, I use some spray wax, and then I applied the, um, a little bit of the Adams product. And then, as you can, you've seen, done before, you've done it yourself, you just wanna distribute some of the product. I like to start here on the, on the roof because stuff is gonna be flying all over the place, and uh, the thinking is you clean as you go down, so you use gravity, I guess, to uh, to assist you. But anyway, get this set up, and uh, let's see the world. I like to um, do this going in the same direction if possible. I think it keeps the swirls down to a minimum. And remember, these cars are not square boxes, thankfully. So sometimes you don't, there's only so much you can do, but. Uh, this is just to give you a basic idea of what I do. And I'm using very light pressure, if any. I'm really just guiding the uh, the polisher. And like I said, I like to use these, uh, actually these blue pads or buffing pads. I don't, I don't like to use anything more aggressive than that. That part is done. And again, what I like to do is allow it to kind of, not dry, but kind of develop a haze. And it happens fairly quickly. And of course, had I been prepared for this, I would have had my, uh, 
want you to rack Sandy, but I'm gonna fix that. to remove labels, that sort of thing. I'll try to remove any soil scratches and, and that sort of thing, and I wanna add. Anyway, this is getting there, so. Let's start. Just removing some of the product. A little toasty out here today. Good God. You know, some of the instructions tell you, I don't know if it applies to waxing, but I say to do about a, a square foot area at a time. Heck, if I did that, I would be done on the 12th of never. So I tend to uh, go a little bit beyond that. Just a little bit. And frankly, I don't, I don't think it makes a huge deal, but just wanted to point that out. the towel or what, but I think I'm working too hard to remove the, uh, this finishing polish, so let me find a different one. Let's try this one and see what happens. Of course, I already removed most of it, but sometimes it's not a bad idea to have an extra clean towel just to Get them on silver when you're done. Oh, that looks pretty. So you say I'm gonna keep on keeping on. I'll be back later.
pretty hard to tell, I suppose, with uh, so many reflections and uh, less than ideal lighting conditions. It is looking good. So the roof is done. The rear deck is finished. These sections are also done. The hood and, and the top portions of the fender, both fenders, are done. done by hand of course there's no way I can get this contraption in there that's good so good all right guys it is done. Yeah, it's usually it turned out pretty nice. Very shiny, very clean. And guess what? Every time I wax the car, it starts to rain. But anyway, uh, it looks pretty. As always, thank you for, for following my blog and my detailing adventures. Next time, what I'm going to do is, even though it probably doesn't need it, I am going to uh, detail the interior again, just to, again, just to keep it nice. That's that's uh, that's the idea. All right, my friends. I will see you later.